Chest here and today we are going to be taking a look at Star Wars, The Power of the Force, Emperor's Royal Guard. It came, he came out around 1997 and he cost me $3. So let's go ahead and take a look at his features. I, starting off first, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, weapon he has. Um, as you can see, it's kind of, it kind of falls in his hand, but, um, and it's, but other than that, it's uh, pretty good. Um, let's take it out of his hand. It does bend, too, which is kind of bad. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend bending it, because you could break it. Um, but it is a, like, I really like the color of it. It's, like, a really weird gold color and it looks really cool and this weapon is called a force pike as well pretty cool weapon you can just hold it in his uh, hand if you just um, push it down in but he can hold it but uh in taking a look at the uh, fig figure himself, as you can see, his right hand uh, has a pointing finger, and his left hand is just more closed as well. And his arms are maroon, and the rest, uh, like his cloak and his helmet, are a uh, bridal red color. And up here, and his mask is like shiny too, which looks really cool. And underneath, he doesn't have any legs. He just has the shape of the world in a maroon color as well. It's the back. Now, it does have, like, a lot of, like, creases in the cloak as well, which looks really nice with all the creases. It w really makes it look like it's moving more. For his articulation, he doesn't have much, though. He can only do 360-degree rotation in his arms, and that's it. Um, that's all he can do. He can't, his head doesn't move. It, it kind of moves, but with the cloak and this piece hanging down right there, it doesn't move. He's always looking forward. I do wish they would have put, like, at least... Uh, wrist articulation or elbow articulation so he could get his weapon sitting kind of up like they did in the movie where they just had it like sitting on their shoulder resting on their shoulder like that kind of but you can't really do that otherwise that would look really cool This is a pretty cool uh, action figure as well. Um, not as much paint detailing, but the detailing that they did put into the mold, like with all of the creases and stuff, even in the arms, is really good. And the shininess in the helmet, I, I like how shiny the helmet is as well. Makes it, it makes it stand out from the cloak. But that is it for this video. Um, I don't know how much this guy is on eBay or anything right now. Um, probably, if he's used, probably not that much. But if it's in the bots, he's probably cost more. And I do have the bot, so I will uh, show you guys that right here. It's pretty nice. It says Emperor's Royal Guard, and he just sat right there. So is the power of the force, and on the uh, back, it just has a little description of him with the height, uh, the status, the classification, um, and all of that. And then it has more action figures down there, then vehicles, and then it shows kennel and stuff. <clears throat> but that is it for this video, so remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!